Hi everyone, my name's Cathy and welcome to Skint Living UK. Um, I, like lots of us, have struggled with debt over the years and in 2020, just before COVID kicked off, um, we downsized. So I was lucky in the fact that I was able to get rid of my mortgage because I had seven and a half years left on my mortgage and the place we moved to, even though it was a fixer-upper, there was no more mortgage left on it because there was enough equity in our old house for me to buy the new house. So in that respect, I am really lucky because I've got no mortgage or rent to pay. Um, I live on a tiny income and basically I had four debts um, from about November onwards of last year. So um, I rustled the money together to pay off my fourth debt, which was I had some items in cash converters, some bits of jewellery. So um, And I sold a piece of jewellery in January, so that gave me the facility to pay off all the jewellery in the shop. Or I think it was three or four pieces. And got them all out, and that was the end of it. I was a bit... Um, I was a bit miffed because they um, charged me extra in cash converters for getting the things out early and there's no mention of it in the documentation so that's the thing to watch out for um so anyhow um i've got three debts left um a credit union loan which was 400 pound which i got last summer um i've been slowly paying it off in march i had a balance of 200 pound I've paid 93 or little odds and bits and bobs over the month and down to 107 so chuffed about that because like three quarters of the way there virtually. Um, I had a credit card in November, December, it was more than a thousand, the limit is 900 so I was paying a fortune in charges and fees and all the rest of it in November, December so I was really struggling so by the time I got to January I was up to a thousand and I thought, right, I need to get rid of this because the credit card's taking all my money here. So by March, I got to 775 and this month I paid 75 and my balance is 700. Um, I've got council tax arrears because the council have messed me about saying I paid this, owe this, whatever for the last two years. So in the end, I've ended up owing them 2000 because they eventually got a sorted because I had to go to Sisson's Advice and sort it all out. So my March balance was 1850 I've paid 50 this month and I'm down to 1800 Plus I have to pay the normal regular bill as well. So basically I've been using the Dave Ramsey method, the debt snowball, pay your smallest one off first and then get rid of that and then use that money to pay off your next one. So this seems to be working. Um, I'll just go on. Ooh, sorry, I'm left-handed, struggling a little bit here. Um, in the UK, we have a different credit score rating than um, the US. Ours is out of 710. There's five bands. And if you look, my credit score over the months has been basically flatlining. June, July. so November, I was down, down to 505. That was because of the credit card. 510 in December, slightly better because I paid some off. January stays at 510. February it's starting to go off because I'm starting to pay it all off. So I jump from 510 to 539. March 552. And April 572. So it's gone up roughly 70 points in six months so i'm so pleased about that because i've been paying off my credit union loan and my credit card so it's had an effect on my school so currently i'm in 572 out of 710 i think in the us as yours is out of 900 maybe a thousand and we have five bands i presume yours is very similar it's just the scores are different so so this month you've gone up 20 20 points so 
that's very good um, I've also been trying to save a little as I go along on Dave Ramsey's recommendation try and get an emergency fund so I opened up a Saffron um, Building Society account last month um, and it's we only pay the maximum is £50 a month and I've managed to pay 30 last month and then as you can see all little bits of payments have been going in all little bits of pennies I've sold I'm trying to declutter so all the little bits I've got rid of I've come to £50 this month so I've got the maximum so I've got £80 in it's not a fortune but you know what that's the first amount of money that I've had saved in a long time so let me know what you think in the comments below and please like and subscribe because I'm only getting 1% of viewers who are subscribing so that means 99% of you aren't watching thank you